Oh, 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 yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we are diving into a timeless classic, you know, from the Beatles. You know, the song is titled uh, When I'm 64. This song um, featured, you know, on the uh, iconic 1967 album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts uh, Club Band, you know, uh, takes us on a delightful journey, you know, uh, into the whimsical side of, I mean, the Fab Four, <laughs> the Beatles. Let's get right into it. Shout out to Danny Biludu, man. <laughs> Beatles, <laughs> when I'm 64. Guys, first time listening to this song, you know, before I jump into my review, you know, special shout outs to Daniel Bilodu for, I mean, keeping me engaged on, you know, reacting to music uh, by the Beatles. I'm so, so enjoying this journey, you know. Yeah, this song, when I'm 64. First off, guys, let's talk about the instrumentation, you know, right from the get go. I mean, the song's you no know, vintage charm, you know, is so, so undeniable, you know. Um, uh, I'm not too sure, you know, who produced the song, you know, but uh, I feel like the whole production, you know, adds uh, a nostalgic and almost, you know, vaudeville you know, uh, feel to the song. You know, I mean, I definitely love the use of, you know, bass, you know, clar uh, clarinet, you know, um, I feel like uh, that particularly uh, gives this song a unique texture, you know, that uh, stands out, you know, even... I mean, right now, just listening, I feel like uh, this, this song has, like, definitely you know, stood the test of time. I have to say, uh, Paul McCartney's you know, vocals, you know, are uh, very, very playful and um, endearing, you know, perfectly capturing the essence, you know, of a young man, you know, contemplating <laughs> his future, you know. Um, lyrically, I feel like uh, this song, you know, When I'm 64, um, it's, 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 it's a sweet and, you know, a humorous, you know, exploration, you know, of aging. You know, and uh, and daring love. You know, uh, Paul McCartney 
uh, I mean, definitely he wrote the song, you know. So based on a few facts that I pulled up, you know, Paul McCartney, you know, wrote this song, you know, when he was 16. 16, guys, 16. You know, but um, if uh, it, its themes, you know, resonate, you know, with uh, listeners, you know, of all ages. I have to say, I mean, for a young man, 16 years writing the song, I'm, I mean, for me, personally listening to this song for the first time, I was blown away. I could definitely, definitely relate to it. The lyrics, you know, to me are filled with, you know, charming imagery, <laughs> you know, uh, knitting, you know, sweaters by the fireside, you know, uh, gardening and uh, grandkids, you know, on your knees. You know, this is definitely a whimsical uh, vision, you know, of uh, domestic bliss, <laughs> you know, that I feel like uh, feels more uh, quaint and, uh, you know, universal. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. The performance itself, you know, is, is tight and cohesive. I have to say the Beatles, you guys should you know, known for their musical experimentation definitely kept things you know uh, relatively uh, straightforward here i have to say um i love how they allow the songs and the melody and lyrics you know to, to, to shine you know uh the harmonies you know between john and then paul and um george harrison you know i hope <laughs> i feel like are uh, impeccable you know showcasing their vocal chemistry wow um after listening to this song, I have to say one of the standout elements of the song is its uh, production. You know, the production quality was definitely top tier. I mean, even though it was recorded in the late 60s, guys, the sound is crisp and so, so clean. And sometimes I wonder how they were able to, you know, get all these sounds, you know, to, to, to actually stand the test of time. This is definitely a testament to, um, guys, please help me who produced the song. Please, down in the comment section. This song is, is just a perfect you know, blend you know, of uh, classic pop and uh, music hall. I have to say, I mean, this definitely showcases uh, the Beatles' uh, versatility you know, and their ability to cross genres you know, effortlessly. Yeah, I love the whimsical, <laughs> I keep using the word whimsical, you know, the whimsical nature you know, of the song, When I'm 64, uh, um, I feel like also reflects you know, a broader themes of uh, this album, Sgt. Pepper, you know, Hi right, guys, so that was just uh, my vibe. That's just what I think about the song. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your perspective about this one <laughs> down in the comment section. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, you know, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed, I mean, this reaction, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you know, for more, you know, deep dives into, you know, classic songs such as this. Let me know in the comment section, you know, what song you'd like for me to uh, review next. Yeah, until then, keep the music alive. My love.